Hey, good morning everyone. It's Mike and Jen. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Welcome to our top resort of 2023. Mm -hmm. And nothing better than doing it on New Year's Day. If you're hungover, if you're just getting <laughs> up needing a coffee. Yeah, this will be a great video for you. Yeah, grab a coffee, sit down with us, grab some eggs, whatever you want to do. And let's get on with the video. And just to be clear, this video is previously recorded in Veradero. And it's going to be previously recorded for part number two That's in right. Keokoko. Oh, yeah. In this video, we're going to be discussing our top resort of 2023 mm -hmm. at a moderate price. Right. We've stayed at a lot of four stars in 2023. We don't know what four star means. We don't know what the four star <laughs> means. We don't know what four and a half star means. No. But we've gone to all of them in, a, in, in this price range, and we want to make a video and share it with you about our experiences and what we determine to be our favorite resort. Right. And by price range, we mean kind of the cheap and cheerfuls. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, but Nothing high in, in, the, in the middle. So yeah. now we have traveled in the off season, which makes it a little bit cheaper for people. Yeah. One thing I've learned about Cuba is just because you're paying more doesn't mean your experience is going to become better. Right. So just remember that. Let's dive into the video. Okay. Some of the regions we've been to is going to be Cayo Largo, Santa Maria, Cayo Cogo, and Veradero. Right. And, you know, we've read all the negative reviews and we don't listen to them oh, anymore. Yeah, Cuba takes a beating. In it does take a beating. But it's still one of our favorite places. Uh, the reason is, is because you're coming here for the beach and if you're coming for anything else, then you're coming for the wrong reason. <laughs> That's and true. if you're ever booking it because of a price, you're also booking it for the wrong reason. Right. Just because you're paying less doesn't mean you're going to get you know, more. You have to know what you're getting into. Before. And we make all the videos trying to tell people and show people. Actually, just trying to show you more of what you're going to get involved with at a cheap and cheerful resort. Right. Well, I think also they need to know we're doing a little review of our fave places for 2023. But it's just what we experienced. We don't get paid by hotels. We're not we're not getting anything out of it. We never get upgraded. We experience. never get comp for anything. No. We pay and exactly what you pay That's and right. we're getting exactly what you get. For most part, for mo for the most times I ever go, I don't even tell the hotel I'm actually coming. Sometimes I do if I know like the hotel, but for most yeah. for most part like right now we're at a hotel we've been here three times and we still had issues and they didn't care <laughs> and they didn't care anyway we're gonna break this down into some certain categories the number one category for us you know we always say the beach but the mo number one category for us is our safety and what I mean by safety is safety in our room really yeah uh, and safety as a well, human safety being around too yeah. around the, the resort totally we typically always feel safe but when it comes to our valuables and to our room, I need to be in a room that closes, locks, the toilet works, and the patio door shuts. That's right. And our maid service or the person looking after our room respects our items. That's right. So that's what safety means to us. Sure. Next on that list is going to be the beach. For sure. It's like for us, like the reason we're getting on a plane and traveling is to go see the ocean. Yeah. We really don't care what a room really looks like. It has to have functioning water, toilets, showers, clean decent. towels, yeah. fairly decent sheets. It's nice when it's bright and airy, but that doesn't always happen. And it doesn't affect our happiness if it isn't. But no. you need to have a functioning toilet. You need to have running water. You need to have water in your room and your patio door's got a lot. That's right, and predictability of yeah. that. Like and you don't one yeah. day off. Yeah, it has to be consistency your air conditioner is going to have to work even though we don't really care. We don't really care about that but, but it's it, nice. It's nice when your room gets over 25 to be able to turn it on or turn it off. Right. And one more consideration that we always think about is going to be food quality. What do you get on a consistent level for food quality? And I mean yeah I'm not talking cervezas and coffee we're talking some proteins basic proteins basic carbohydrates vegetables and some fruits and the consistency of that even though we know it's Cuba and it's not consistent we're gonna talk about the place that provided the most consistency I suppose eh? totally yeah. and that's how you get to number one so starting off at number three for top resorts this is gonna be tough because mm -hmm. I uh, Jenny likes something and I don't so let's dive into it okay well my top in the third place for me 
is flamenco in kale cocoa. And why is that? I, I find it's consistent. The food is consistent. I've never experienced like where I go to the buffet and I can't find anything. Yeah, true enough. Yeah. I love the beach there. Yeah, the beach is amazing. I love the layout there. I love yeah. the lobby bar and I, yeah. I love the people. Yeah. And I I love Kale Coco. I also love the room. Even though it's just a basic room, they're all bright and airy. Yeah. And that for me is key. I like a room where I walk in and I feel like I'm away. Like I'm on holiday. Yeah. Even even though it might not be the best room. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. Okay. For me, I'm going to probably say for my top third resort is probably going to be Memories Carib. It's a smaller resort. I love eating on the beach. I think the food quality there was a little slightly better. I always have a great room there. I love the little bungalow that I've had. I think it's just a little bit better experience. So that's third for you. Okay. Yeah, that's my third. Okay. Even though I love Flamenco Beach, don't get me wrong, but I just had a lot of issues this year when I've been to the Flamenco. Okay. We'll leave it at that. That's right. What's your resort for I'm number gonna two? I'm going to go with Carib. You're going to go with Carib? I okay. Like, well, I liked it slightly better than Flamenco for the room. Yeah. I did like our room there. Yeah. And the beach is spectacular because yeah. to me it's the same beach as Flamenco, really. Yeah. Um, I also thought the food there was pretty good, pretty solid. And I guess it's adults only. So for me, getting away, Flamenco is still kids. Yeah, and totally. I like to be, yeah. I, I like to be adults only. Yeah. So it's number two for me. What about you? Okay, number two for me is I might have to say, and this is going to be right off the cuff, but it might have to be the sanctuary in Santa Maria. Okay. First of all, my room was charming and I had a great room, second floor. The staff there for me, I didn't know them at all. Like I wanted an upper floor, I got an upper floor. Oh, it, was not, nice. it was not even an issue. Yeah. So the staff there I found at customer service were very friendly and, uh, and accommodative. The buffet was a lot smaller there, but I found the food quality there to be somewhat consistent. Okay. But the number one thing there was the beach. It was a fantastic beach yeah. too and when I went and if I wanted to walk the beach and I had great beach food and there was a beach bar there and I love that. Oh yeah. I so like for bar. me that's like it ticked all boxes. I had great water pressure. I just had a, I had a really good experience and that was just my personal experience. I'm not you know I'm not I'm not recommending the resort no, at all. We're, we're not recommending these resorts. Give we're just basing we like. it on our, <laughs> our experiences and the time that I was there. And I haven't been to Santa Maria in 2023. Yeah. But I do like It's Santa a long Maria. bus ride, folks. Just yeah. trust me. If you're going, get ready for it. It's a yeah. long, long bus ride. Anyway, that was my number two this okay. year. And that's just in 2023. Now, number one. Okay. My number one pick for 2023 is going to be the Memories Kale Largo. I loved the food there. When I say love, I mean I just consistently could get a good protein. It was fresh. They had tons of avocado. Um, I liked the food. I also yeah, their food quality was actually really good. Yeah. Yeah, their food quality is really, really like good. That. The beach there, uh, right at the memories. The beach for me was wavy, was fun, but you could also go to different beaches there. Serena. Yeah, and that was fun. Mauricio. That was fun. They had a lot of good things going for it. But you know what I loved the most about that place? I think you agree a little bit, but the room there. That was nice. It just was quiet. Just cozy, quaint, yeah. beachy, bright. Good vibe at the resort. I loved I loved it there. Just yeah. a different vibe for me. And maybe it was just because we switched it up from Kao Coco, but yeah. it's my number one pick. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to leave it at that because I still have one more resort to go to next week. And, and then, then you'll have to choose your number one. And then I'll choose my number one and we'll continue on with this video. So I'll see you shortly. And just like that, now I'm in Kyle Coco, staying at the Trip Hotel. Now before I got to my number one pick, I wanted to come here to make sure that I wasn't in the top three. Now this is a 27 year old resort. It's tired, it's a three and a half star. So I, it probably wasn't gonna be up there in the rankings, but I'm actually here right now and I'm pleasantly surprised to be totally honest with you. With all the uh, shortages going on all over the place, this resort has the least amount of shortages. And it's got better food quality than my last two resorts that I was just at and they were supposed to be four and a half star. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Getting to my top pick of 2023, 
it, it's going to go to uh, the Ibero Star Enchinoches in Cayo Santa Maria. I love that resort. I had a great time at that resort. It was a big resort, but that doesn't bother me anymore. My room, let's talk about my room. It was massive. It was quiet, well built, and a little bit dated, but uh, it was clean, tidy, roomy. Because I'm a YouTuber, I need to work somewhere and I need to work somewhere safe. For, so for me, it was amazing. I could leave all my gear out and I could work away and I could go out and have a good time and come back and everything was safe and sound. The beach is there. Two spectacular beaches. And my favorite beach is the Mangon Beach, I believe it's called. It was awesome. Right in front of the resort, down that little wood structure walkway. And like I said, they had a beach bar there. They had a beach restaurant and two bathrooms. So you didn't even have to go back to the main resort for anything. Once you were there, you could stay for the day. I absolutely love that. To the right of the restaurant, you could go for a nice long walk when the tide is out. It was fantastic. The water is crystal clear and you can go get lost. And you wanted to get away from people, you could. I love that when I'm traveling. My wife calls me a nomad. I like to be where people aren't. Don't get me wrong, I love talking to people, but when I'm chilling out, I like to have downtime, and for me, that's important. The resort itself was well structured, well laid out. I, I loved it, and I had a lot of fun there. I'll be going back in 2024, and I'm gonna take my wife 100% for sure. Anyway, that's it, folks. That's my top three resorts of 2023. I've had a fantastic year. I really want to say thank you to everyone that's reached out, talked to me, saw me in airports, airplanes, beaches, hotels, resorts. You found me, you saw me, you told me your stories, and I love listening to that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. It really does help me out. And, uh, and guess what? I'll see you in 2024, and maybe one day I'll run into you on a beach. Anyway, like, subscribe, and guess what? I'll see you in the next video.